and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the mound now, Taj Bradley. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Now it's the DH, Jemai Jones. The why to kick the pitch. Outside. Three and one now. Swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now it's Juan Soto. One out, base is empty. To the right side, and it's through for a hit. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Man, at first, here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. That's to third. Off balance feed. There's one to Diaz. That's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here at Tropicana Field. And going to the mound in this one for the Yankees, Garrett Cole. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Two one now. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand up double. Everything came together for him. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. So, man aboard, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another.
And yep, a good eye there. It's a good take. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Isaac Paredes now. Man at second. And the dirt kicks away from the catcher. A Rosarina up to third on the wild pitch. third this is who they wanted to play he's so good at getting a run across in these situations and here it comes yeah. late on that fastball instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tied him up a little bit slightly up slightly in spoils that one and it remains two and two and a pinch and yeah, that skips in the dirt Jose Siri to bat next A Rosarena on third with two out. Bounced up the middle. Volpe. To first. That's out number three. One left for Tampa. We played an inning. No score. Now in Tampa Bay, here's Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. That one way inside. Chick swing tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Some high keys for strike three. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it by him. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it. And it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Back to the mound. He's got it. Sends it to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. That is it. The center fielder, number 12. Trent. Two outs, bases Grisham. empty. Trent Grisham, the next to hit. Two outs, bases empty. This one in the air. Diaz moves under it. And that's the third out. Yanks held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back and to the ballpark. The Bottom Reds. of the second. And now Most it's Jose Siri. And a 1 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. It can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Whoa, Next pitch misses. Inside. And the count is even two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. It gets down a base hit. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. The pitch. 
way outside and it's two and one. And the right hander deals. That one misses. And now three and one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Nobody out. Runner at first. Late on that fastball. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed. Just second, but way too late. Safe there. You know, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Man at second. Two, two, yeah. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Line drive to short and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. At the play, Taylor Walls. Siri stands at second with two gone. Two outs. Bows it back with two strikes. The pitch. That's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. The Rays strand just the one. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Here's Jose Trevino. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. The wind of the pitch. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Now it's the second baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Hey. Top of the third, no score. 
And it delivers outside. Here's a high chopper. Paredes. The throw to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The third baseman, DJ LeMahieu. And now it's DJ LeMahieu digging in. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Pop foul out of play off to the right. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Hot shot to third. Paredes oh. fires over to first, and the Yanks go quietly. One, two, three, go the Yankees, and we are still scoreless. As we go to the last of the third, here's the catcher, number 28. And the righty deals. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Yandy Diaz now. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, three pitches, down, down, fastball up, swinging, boom. It's like learning the chord progression, getting those strums right. Man, so many pitchers prefer working north-south these days compared to the east-west, and that was a great example right there. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy or Rosarena. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Man at first, one away. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now two gone. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And stepping in is the speedy Ahmed Rosario. Two outs. And another ball. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. 3 2 now. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Now batting. The third baseman. Took to a board in two outs. Scoreless game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. The pitch. That ball Could be some action here on this yeah, next pitch. Couple runners oh, right. on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. First and second, two down. Here in the last half of the third. That oh. one misses. Now three and one. Jose Siri waits on deck. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him looking. Fast 
fastball to letters throws him for strike three. So the Rays strand a pair and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Tropicana Field, here's Jemai Jones. Bunting for a hit, and that's just foul. The one two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Juan Soto now. One down, base is empty. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. That's a next ball. offering is down low. Judge rips that one way back there. And that one is out of here. So he blasts one out the other way, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Out towards right center field. And Verdugo is set down. And that is that. Solo shot from Aaron Judge for the Yanks. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay, bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. The wind of the pitch. Close, but called a ball. Two and one. Well, these Rays, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. On the ground to short. Volpe throws it to first in time. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. So digging in, Johnny DeLuca. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And a pitch. That misses off the outside edge. Raised down by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking and make sure that they don't get any confidence. And that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. 
Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Swing and a miss. One and two. And this is inside. Cole a check to first. Caballero back in on the dive. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One left for Tampa. And it remains 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Anthony Volpe. The pitch. Paredes tosses across the first and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. Now this is in the air down the line. The Rosarena after it. Out. Number two. Now batter. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Trevino will hit next. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Up and in, three and one really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop and a foul ball he stays alive really impressive with the way he frames the way that he sets it up because sometimes those pitches are off the plate but because he's and down on strikes and it's a three up three down inning down in order go to Yankees but they're on top one nothing we head to the bottom of the fifth and now the catcher for the Rays number 28 here's a one one And the pitch. Nope. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Fastball moved right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Run around at first with one gone. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays at the belt and fires. And now one and two. Volpe 
steps on the back for one. And that's two. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Yankees won, the Rays nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Now at the plate, Oswaldo Cabrera. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Caballero. Jump throw. One up, one down. Now back. The third baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Here's DJ LeMahieu. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Three. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Thought it was a pretty good pitch, top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down, one, two, three. Yanks held in check. They lead it one nothing. And we're back, Leading bottom of the six. The and now the DH, the Ahmed w Rosario. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Strike three, got him swinging. One gone here. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Sliced hard but foul. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. The Yanks leading by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings and misses struck him out. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri. Two outs. Fouled off. He was late. Back to work, 3-2 now. And a swing and a miss. Rays retired in order. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Colin Poche. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one-run game. Here's Juan Soto. 
Soto. And Poche ready to work. And a foul ball. The one two. Two balls. Two strikes. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Ryan Pepio, the young right hander, up and throwing. Adam getting loose as well. That one the other way. A Rosarino pulls it in on the run. Here is Aaron Judge. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. One down, base is empty. And Judge spoils that one. And now the lefty. And now another ball. Got him swinging. That's the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. Ball to strike. Oh. And that one upstairs. That's in there. And now two and two. And they'll do it again. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Miss struck him out and good work there as he gets a one two three Yanks held in check but they lead it one to nothing back now in Tampa Bay stepping in Johnny DeLuca notice how they're swinging too early or too late that's a timing problem they need to guess right on a few of those pitches and I mean make an educated guess Looking to get the tying run on base. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. That, that one missed. Is. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And he deals. Got him! Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. And a pitch. Clips the corner. And that is strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued to me. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Garrett Cole is done in this one, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Luis Heal gets the ball now. 
These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. One down, runner at first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Taylor Walls. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Save at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. With the tying run at second, here at the bottom of the seventh. Rudder goes again. There's a ball. Throw to third. Save. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. Huge strike out there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. That's in there. And the count, one and two. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The tying run is 90 feet away. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two outs. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Yandy Diaz up next for the Rays. Caballero on third with two out. Bounce to the right side. Play made, that ends the inning. The Rays strand just the one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jason Adam. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And the right hander deals. Inside just missed. The two one. And a base hit up the middle. So a man on base to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So up next, Trent Grisham. And here it comes. And one and two. One ball, two straight. Swing and a miss. 
this for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. Righty delivers. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses. Throw safe. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. Man at second. Up the middle. On to first. Oh. Awesome play there. Now back. Second baseman. Oswaldo Cabrera. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That's in there. And a count one and two. He's trying to protect, keep the at-bat alive. Wouldn't That's chase cool. that time. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're in the top of the eighth. In the air, left field. A Rosarena after it. And that'll do it. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Back here at Tropicana Field, bottom of the eighth. And here is Yandy Diaz. A wind in the pitch. Outside low. Three and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Play Holmes. The hard throwing righty is up and loosening. Number 61, a left hander, also throwing. Right handed reliever. And there's the strike. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Outside, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Randy or Rosarena getting ready to hit with the tying run on at first. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. and misses it's a strikeout new pitcher for the Yankees Tim Hill and he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year the numbers stack up with some of the best in the game now up for Tampa Bay Ahmed Rosario and there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss and now here is Isaac Paredes and a count one and two just missed if he's able to connect on that look out spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. And another ball. Diaz. 
Simmons off of first with two away. To third. They get the force. Inning over. One left for Tampa. They're down one nothing. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Pepio. And he's had his struggles so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Well, one run game. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Walls settles under this one. One up, one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Jones. Now it's going to be Jemai Jones. Nope, this is just ball. off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Fastball for a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman. Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. Rudder takes off. Pitch is high. Throw. Save. Could be extra bases around third. Throws to second. He's in safely at second. And a run comes in to score. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. It's Aaron Judge now. Looks like they want to set up the double play. Intentional walk will make it first and second with one gone. The left field, number 24, Alex. Two on with one out. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. The Yankees trying to break this one open here at the top of the night. Strike two. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a ball. Bounce to the right. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Base is loaded. Anthony Volpe now at the plate. And a 1 2. Got him. And there's two away. Trent Grisham stepping in now for the Yankees. The pitch. 
kind of goes so without saying, but stranding these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a must if they stand a chance to win this game. Two outs. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The bases are full for the New York Yankees. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him swinging. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double, and it's two zip. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Clay Holmes. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. So digging in, Jose Siri. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. In the air, out towards left center. Verdugo right there to make the grab. And there's one away. The right fielder, number 21. Now it's the right fielder, Johnny DeLuca. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Fastball right back to the mound. Throws the first in time. The batter, number seven. Second baseman, Jose. Last chance for the Rays. And yeah, the batter now, Jose Caballero. Two down, nobody on. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. The Rays down to their final strike. Got him. That's the ball game. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long from Tampa Bay.